Welcome to Learn Biology and today we're discussing protein synthesis also known as translation. Now we've already discussed how DNA makes DNA and how DNA makes RNA. Now we're learning how RNA makes proteins. Before we begin we must know that protein synthesis takes place in the ribosome. So it takes place in the ribosome which is the side of protein synthesis. What we also must know is that there are three types of RNA that we are working with and here are the three types. We have messenger RNA, transfer RNA, and ribosomal RNA and these are also known as mRNA, tRNA, and rRNA. Now, before we go on, we always have to remember monomers and polymers. What are the building blocks of proteins? Proteins are made out of amino acids. Amino acids yield to proteins. So that is the building block of proteins amino acids. Keep that in mind because it will come in useful. Now the three types of RNA. The three types of RNA are mRNA, tRNA, and rRNA. mRNA is the RNA, the ribonucleic acid that codes for the specific protein. It is the one that says let's say we want a special type of protein here uh, we'll call it the protein that expresses the uh, color on, in your eye. Now this is not realistic but just let's say we're trying to the, pro, the proteins are trying to express the color of the, our eye. So that is what it is. Now mRNA has the specific protein which will express the color of our eye so let's say blue, blue eyes are going to be expressed through, so blue eyes are going to be expressed through the code U, uh, AUG, uh, CCG, ACG, okay, we'll just say that, and then, so here we have the specific code for protein, so color of our eye is this code right here mRNA now simplifies how it codes for a specific protein by having these things called codons. Codons are triplets of bases, so triplets. And what this means is that here we have a code AUG, CCG, ACG, correct? Well, now the codon is right here. AUG is a codon. CCG is a codon and ACG is a codon. And what this does is simplify the work of transfer RNA. Transfer RNA contains the anticodons, meaning the complements of this code right here. So transfer RNA would contain the code UAC. G, G, C, U, G, C. So transfer RNA contains this code because it is complementing mRNA. A matches with U, U matches with A, G matches with C, and so on. So that is what an anticodon is. It's a triplet of, ba ba of bases that matches the codons, the mRNA. So these are triplets of bases. Now transfer RNA is what builds the protein. So transfer RNA builds protein. And what it does is bring forth the anticodon which codes for an amino acid. Remember, amino acids are building blocks of proteins. So this UAC would be one amino acid. So AA, amino acid. GGC would be a, another amino acid. UGC would be a third amino acid. 
and this would go on so that's what transfer RNA does it can it builds proteins by bringing the correct amino acid to the mRNA keep that in mind it brings forth the correct amino acid to match the mRNA's codons now we have the third type of RNA known as rRNA or ribosomal RNA and what this does it has a simple job it comes in and hooks all the amino acids together so you see here we have an amino acid well it hooks it to the this amino acid and the second amino acid is hooked on to the third amino acid and that's the job of the ribosomal RNA hooks amino acids together simple enough now let's get to what these look like mRNA looks like a simple strand of code because it codes for a protein tRNA looks clover sh shaped because it brings forth anticodons it has to find what amino acid to bring to the mRNA and RNA just looks like a bundle of molecules that uh, bring, uh, that make bonds between amino acids now let's get to the first step of protein synthesis which is known as initiation so initiation meaning beginning so begin what this is is that the remember that protein synthesis takes place in the ribosome so all it is is here's a ribosome and all it is is that mRNA comes by and hooks on to the ribosome so hooks on that's all it is and now what also happens is that mRNA has a code which is called, it's called the start codon which tells the tRNA where to begin protein synthesis where to start creating the protein the start codon is AUG so AUG is the start codon and this begins this begins protein synthesis so just like DNA had a primer mRNA has a start codon so that's the first step the second step is known as chain elongation what this means is that here we have our ribosome here is our mRNA and this is opened up now just to make it better understanding so here we have our mRNA with its start code A U G and we'll just make this up we'll make this up to be C C A and then we have G G C G G C and we'll just end it with U G A this is just made up and it, I'm doing this as an example so here we have our mRNA now tRNA remember tRNA brings the specific anticodon so it brings forth the complement of this so AUG it brings forth it brings forth the UAC and then we have CCA so the tRNA brings in GGU and then here we have G with C C and G and then here we have a C U so the tRNA brings the amino acid and each one here is an amino acid so this is what the second step is it's known as chain elongation the tRNA brings the anticodons to the mRNA and in the second step rRNA ribosomal RNA hooks the amino acids together so hooks them together and that is the second step now the final step of of this process of protein synthesis is 
chain termination, meaning how do we know when the protein is done uh, create like when the protein is created it can go on forever so stops protein chain remember that how do we know when the protein is done how it when it is created it can go on forever so this process is known as chain termination and for that we have a stop code a code which tells the tRNA so tells tRNA to stop bringing amino acid to stop amino acids and there are three codes for this we have UGA UAA and UAG that stop the creation as you can see here the code ends with UGA so this is going to be the final amino acid and then we are done with the creation of the protein so we will have no more here and that is the third step of protein synthesis. So thank you for watching Learn Biology and we'll see you next time.